Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, x.e.l.o. And today, I'm actually going to be showing you how I use one shots inside of Reaper using the Resamplematic 5000. Let's go. All right, and here we are in Reaper, and this theme is called Peace. Uh, what I want to show you guys is how I actually set up my one shots if I'm using it for sound or if I'm using it for drums, and I'll show you how to set up a nice little drum kit inside of Reaper, and that way you can save it and have it available for you whenever you want to pull up that same drum kit. And I'm going to be using my Smash Kit. If you haven't downloaded the Smash Kit, the link is below in the description. You can download that for free. All right, so for the one shots, what I'm going to be using is Zycymatics. Uh, so they have a whole bunch in here. Uh, so they have some for bass. They have some bells, some guitars, different keys. So this is the one I'm going to use from the Cymatics pads. And as you see, it's in the note of C, as it shows inside of the Media Explorer. So there are several ways you can set this up. You can uh, right click in here and then you go to insert into a sampler or a player and you can insert sample player on a new track. So we're going to start with a new one and here we have the sound itself. So if I just hit a key on my keyboard, it's going to play. But as you see, it's still playing. So you want to hit on this obey note off. So this way, whenever you let go of the key, it'll stop playing. And what makes this cool is that you have a max voices down here. So it has eight max voices set up right now. So if I make a chord, it'll still play. So I can go and make, uh, so longer notes or shorter notes down here, really, really easy to kind of set up inside of Reaper. Um, usually you want to make sure your mode is set on semi tone shifted, right? So that way you can play across the notes. You can have it, if you do sample ignores the MIDI notes, basically it's going to play the same exact sound through all the keys. It won't go up or down or up and down the scale at all. It'll just play that same exact note all the way through. So we want to leave it on this note semi tone shifted. If you have a sample that you feel kind of clips at the end, you want to make sure you have this note off release override on and kind of just change the time frame. That'll help with the popping and clicking of the one shot if you have a one shot that does that, All right? Uh, it also gives you this option to change like your MIDI channel. So if you wanted it to be on just one certain MIDI channel for this sound, you can set that up as well inside the Resamplematic 5000. Uh, so your volume should be uh, at zero and I have a minimum volume of in infinity. So if I lightly touch the key, it'll be adjusted by the volume. So if I hit it hard, it'll be louder, right? So you want to make sure you have that set up as well, just so you can have your velocities for your sounds, right? So I'm just going to kind of lay something down in here. I added a MIDI track in here and uh, my tempo is set to 140 right now. So I'm just going to try to see if I can record something. In. All right. And just that simple, we've made a nice little chord progression inside of Reaper. And what I'll do is legato these notes so that they're all kind of touching. And this is a really cool way to kind of just find out what sounds you actually want to use. You can always go inside the Resampomatic 5000 and add another instrument in there if you want to change out the sound itself. So uh, if I wanted to change this, seeing that I'm already in this pack, it'll give me an option to choose anything I want in this pack, just from scrolling in here. Mm -hmm. 
right? I can change this in here as well if I'm moving the arrows on the keyboard to go left and right. I can change the sound. Really, really uh, cool and easy to kind of use. So what I can do, I'm going to duplicate this track, right? So now I'll have the same resample Matic 5000 stuff in here. And I'm going to go up to the bases and I want to open up the piano roll and I'm going to take off all these other ones. This may be a little too low down here. So let me just raise these up. I'm going to hold down alt and the number eight on the keyboard, raise that up. Maybe one more. I'm going to raise the volume. Right, so now we have bases in here. And like I said, we can change the base to another base. And I'm gonna add some uh, slices in here. So I'm gonna hold down Shift and S on the keyboard and wherever my mouse is, is actually gonna cut. So, um, let's see. Mm -hmm. So right here. I want to cut and probably here. Okay. Right. So now we have a nice little baseline just from doing a little cuts inside of the MIDI editor. And this is all still one shots that I'm actually using in here. So let's say we want to do like some drums for a uh, one shot. I'm going to be using the smash kit. Okay. So now what we're going to do is make a drum kit inside of Reaper. So I'm going to be using my smash kit. I'm just going to use this first one. Um, I have mine set up to where if I double click on the sound, it will allow me to open up that sound and create a brand new resample matic track inside of Reaper, right? And in order to do that or set it up, you will right click here. You want to go down to your options. And once you're in options, you're going to go right here to where it says default actions, double click. We're going to make sure this one is checked right here that says insert media into a sample player on new track. So this is what the one you want to make sure that you actually have set. So now if I go in here and I double click on the kick, It'll make a brand new resample matic inside of Reaper. And this is exactly what you want to do. Seeing that we're going to use this as a single kick, I'm going to change some of the settings on here so that I can make a whole kit inside of Reaper. So as right now, as you see, I can, can have it on any key and it'll change the pitch of that key. So what I want to do is actually have it set to one sound. So I'm going to have it sample ignores MIDI note. I'll click on that. So now any key I hit, it's the same kick, no matter where I or no matter where I press. And that's what we want if you're gonna do a drum kit. If you're not gonna do a drum kit, I would suggest to leave it on the note semitone shifted. So now we're gonna make sure we have where the note actually starts. For C3, which is like the middle of your keyboard, is 48. Right? So now you see it says C3 here, and I want C3 here as well. So I'm gonna hit 48 for my start and end point. So now My kick is on its own channel. So now let's say we want to do like a clap or a snare or hi-hat and add like a whole kind of kit to it. I'll just click on right here where it says effects, the effects window, and I'll have the option to copy this. So I'm gonna right click on here and I'm gonna copy selected effects and then I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna go to paste effects. So now I have the same exact kick here. So let's see if we can find a clap. So I have a clap in here now. And both of them are on the same exact key, so let's change that. We're going to change this to 50 because I want to, I want it all on my white keys. And I'm going to change this one to 50. So now it's on D3. Mm. 
let's add a hi-hat. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna paste the effect, which was the kick. All right, so now I have a hat on here and I'm gonna change this to 52 because we know that we want it on the white keys. If you want yours on the black keys, you can just start at 48, 49 for the black key, so on and so forth. But I like mine's on the white keys because it's easier for me to kind of get to them that way. All right, and let's see if we can do an open hat. So I'm gonna do one more on here, paste effect. All right, and we're gonna put 53 for this one which would be F. So now we have, all right, so let's say that we actually wanted to keep this as one of our primary drum kits that we're always kind of gonna go to when we're setting up drums inside a Reaper. You can right click on here and you can save track as a track template. Uh, once you save it in here, you can basically just uh, include track items it can include envelopes as well. I would include both of these just to make sure that you have everything that you just created inside of your template. So I named it RS5K Drum YouTube, right? And I'll hit save. All right. So now if I wanted to actually open up this same thing, I can go to insert a track template and I can go to RS5K Drum YouTube. And boom, it pulls up the exact same kick, clap, hi-hat, and open hat. So you can get to this anytime you're doing a project. Makes it really easy and simple to kind of get set up. All right, so I was able to lay down some drums using the Smash Kit. Uh, that link is below in the description if you actually want to download that for free. Uh, and this is what we have so far. If you have enjoyed this video so far make sure you guys are leaving a like and uh, subscribe if you want to subscribe to the channel to see more of these type of videos that i'm creating inside of reaper this is a cool little rmb beat uh, that I put together just by using the one shots inside there so with that being said that's the end of this video and once again thank you for watching learning reaper until the next time peace hey you yes you youtube wants you to watch this video next man Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.